Questions now over the future of St. Michael's Church on North Clinton Avenue in Rochester, which has over 100 years of history in our community. While parishioners fear it's closing for good, the Diocese of Rochester is saying in a statement this week there is no final decision yet. Eric Ketakos reports. Members of St. Michael's Church say they proposed a plan that's been sitting on the desk of the pastor since November 22nd, but since then, they say they have not heard a word. By closing that church, you will bring harm to the spirit of the people of this area. Parishioners say this church represents a safe haven for the community. But years of declining attendance, financial difficulties, and structural issues, it is now in danger of closing. Today, members gather sharing proposals on how to save it. Proposals they say have gone unheard. Instead of following canon law and working with us to implement the plan, unfortunately, Father Mickey McGrath has decided and chosen to attempt to permanently close the church. Another parishioner, Barra Hirado, helped organize a separate press conference earlier this week. That group asking the diocese to look into emergency COVID money. I don't know if this has anything to do with the diocese uh, going bankrupt, which we know it happened in June or July. The diocese says in a statement they're working on the best path forward, but nothing slated yet. It says in part, the parish strategic planning committee's recommendation will come from the parish after committee's work and consultations. In some, this matter is still in process. And Garcia says there are two other churches nearby for Spanish-speaking residents in the area, but St. Michael's is the largest. In Rochester, Eric had a cost. News 8. Thank you, Eric Ketta. That first group is called the St. Michael Society. The second from the news conference yesterday is called Keep St. Michael's Open. Coming up next.